www.pondscape.us. I don't know how easy it's going to be able to you know, see or not, but these cloud formations are pretty. At least, in my opinion. So, I figured I'd shoot that. And, if we go slow, we can see the goldfish pigging out on the algae and the plants here. On this uh, upper part. You can see the ripples they're making in the water. They're just going crazy over this stuff. They were actually, um, the goldfish were actually mating early this morning, and they had like egg splatter all over the top of the freaking pond. Oh my god. I was too tired to run up and get my cam though. I actually headed back to bed. That's what was just way too tired. I just came down to get some food, but, um, yeah, I mean, next time I'm up that early in the morning, because it was, like, maybe 5.30, 6 a.m., damn, these suckers are just, like, going to freaking town. There's just egg splatter everywhere. We have a lot more, um, breeding age goldfish than we ever used to, so it is my hope that, um, because I, I know we don't have sufficient protection for the eggs, so a lot of them are going to get eaten. So it is my hope that there just ends up being so many freaking eggs that there's no way the fish could eat them all. You know, let's say hypothetically they lay 100,000 eggs. Well, if they laid 100,000 eggs, then you figure I should get at least 500 out of the deal, right? They're rippling off, eating at this algae. This is pretty crazy. These fish, they love these plants, and they love picking the algae off of it. And seeing as we sell these Creeping Charlie plants, um, that's definitely a big plus for us and our clients, because um, you know we can't sell these plants if they're caked up with, char with uh, algae. We just can't do it. You know, we pull it out of the water, and it's nasty, and we have to throw it away when that happens or throw it back in the pond and let them finish making use of it until it just like decomposes from not being able to get the sunlight but now that we have enough fish just pigging out on the algae um, that, sh that should be more than enough to keep it clean so far it looks like it's doing the job we have very minimal algae buildup on these leaves and these goldfish are not done cleaning off these leaves yet there's another ripple. So, um, once the goldfish are concluded, which will probably be um, in a few days as far as, you know, the major buildup on the stuff, then um, these uh, Creeping Charlie plants will be totally clean as a whistle. And they'll stay that way because any new buildup that actually starts to form, the, the goldfish will and other fish will pick it off before it actually starts to become any sort of a problem. So. Goldfish are weird fish because they're clean and they're dirty at the exact same time. Though they do a really efficient job at cleaning up most any sort of pond waste mess, they also make a mess by just how much they crap, first of all. And, um... Second of all, they make a huge mess by just stirring up the bottom muck. So, I mean, in a pond, that's fine because, you know, you got big-ass honk and filter keeping all that in check. But, um, if you got these fish in an indoor tank, you really have to have an uber-powerful, um, filtration system in order to have these guys, you know, exist properly in a tank. Otherwise, the water's just going to start getting murky and you're going to run into problems, and you're going to end up with some dead goldfish, so... That's just not cool. Oh, they're starting their mating runs, I think. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll stop this video for now, then. 
and wait until they're full kicked up into into gear for for mating um because they do their whole breeding thing early in the morning and late at night you know just right when the sun's coming up and just you know barely up you know when it's setting so they like twilight for their breeding that's their preferred light that's when they just really go crazy with the breeding so um, if they if they start fornicating like a mofo then um I'll turn the video back on and there'll be like egg splatter all over the place and you'll get to see that so www.pondscape.com